It's the No Fake Channel. Checking in. Jonathan here. And in life, we know there's certain things you don't want to go budget on. Like toilet paper, plastic surgery, or that store brand cola. But when it comes to home gym equipment, it can be downright confusing because frankly, there are some fantastic pieces of budget home gym equipment that will exceed everyone's expectations and then some and leave you wondering why you'd ever want to pay more. And unfortunately, there's a lot of budget home gym equipment that's downright useless. Today, I am breaking down when and where you should go budget when it comes to your home gym and when you should avoid it like the plague. And at the very end, I'm gonna give you my top four pieces of home gym budget equipment. We all know that fundamentals win games, and that's never more true than in a home gym. You don't need to spend a lot to get good enough equipment to give you an absolutely fantastic soul crushing workout and give you all of the gains and strength that you are looking for. Case in point is this Hulk Fit Power Cage. Now I reviewed it in a previous video. I'll link that in the description. It absolutely smashed my expectations. At $300 before sales, before coupons, it delivers everything you could want in a home gym. It allows you to squat and bench safely with safeties. It also has the ability to handle that 500 pound squat and then some that you've been dreaming about. Plus it comes with a beautiful multi-grip pull-up bar and dip handle attachments. Unfortunately, most people don't know how to draw the line. They don't know when to hold them. They don't know when to fold them. They don't know when to count their chips or to walk away. And they find success with a piece of budget equipment like this Hulk Fit Power Cage, and then they decide they're gonna go back to the well. And that's when things can get a bit dicey. Case in point is the Hulk Fit Lat Pull Down and Low Row Attachment you see behind me at only $189 which is bonkers inexpensive. To, as a reference, Titan Fitness, another budget home gym equipment manufacturer, their version more than double at $400. But of course, there's gotta be a catch. I need to thank all of you for using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video that not only helps pay for future content creation, it does keep me plush and triple ply toilet paper. Or when you use those links, let me know so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. Right out the gate, this thing just rolled in with a very poor design. There's a couple sections where they use multiple pieces where it should be one continuous piece for a better function. And I'm sure they went with the multiple piece route in order to save money and to make the boxes smaller for shipping. Now the metal they use is extremely thin and sometimes that's not that big of a deal. But in this case, a few pieces actually arrived bent, not because the box was all banged up, but because the, frankly, the metal was so thin, it couldn't handle just kind of coming off the UPS truck. Now they threw in some handles and the handles were frankly extremely extremely cheap, but I only paid $189, so that I expected. The bonus thing that they threw in, which was a positive, is the lap bar, which is vital when you're doing lap pull downs, and I'm glad that they put that in there, and that's obviously something that speaks well for Hulk Fitness. Unfortunately, they went with plastic pulleys, and I don't know what the price difference is between plastic and metal, but you know the performance difference right away. It just doesn't feel smooth. It doesn't feel like it should. It doesn't have motion and lotion like you know you need when you're doing those heavy pull downs. It just feels awkward and janky. And frankly, it's a disappointment. Now I try to make the best of a bad situation when it comes to the lat pull down and low row from Hulk Fit. I lubed the heck out of it and I really gave it an honest go. And frankly, it'll get the job done. In a pinch, it will actually work. You can do lat pull downs, lat rows, you can do bicep curls, tricep push downs, but you are gonna be disappointed from day one with this thing. And unfortunately, even though the price point is super low at $189, that disappointment is still gonna be there. Now, who is something like this right for? Should you go budget when it comes to a lat pull down and low row? Most oftentimes, I would say no. However, many people, are renting a spot, right? They're renting an apartment or they're in college or they're at a work location for a short amount of time and they want something in their home gym to bridge that gap. And they know when they move on, this thing's going on Facebook Marketplace ASAP. Well, in that case, yes, you could go with the Hulk Fit Lat pull down in low row, knowing full well that you saved Boku bucks, but you're also getting some 
busted piece of equipment. Like, Top four budget home gym items that won't leave you with a serious case of FOMO. Number one, Amazon cast iron kettlebells. These things are probably the lowest price per pound you're gonna find anywhere. They're delivered right to your home free of charge and frankly, they can't be broken. Hey guys, one of my favorite budget pieces for a home gym is the bench block. It makes benching a lot more fun. You can work on overload and it takes some stress off the shoulders, which allows you to bench more. Who doesn't love benching? The best adjustable bench that has the highest performance to cost ratio has to be from Flybird. They absolutely kill expectations when it comes to their adjustable benches and they certainly over deliver on the price points that they charge and if you're like me and you keep a good lookout they throw some fantastic amazon sales from time to time that are simply almost too good to be true we all know the value the performance and the versatility that comes with a trap bar and they come in all different shapes and sizes and while the one I'm going to mention next isn't going to be a world beater, for the price point, it's absolutely going to handle what most of you could potentially throw at it. And that is the Walmart slash Signature Open Trap Bar. It's sold at Walmart.com. The manufacturer is Signature. And it gets free delivery, and I think it costs right around $100, delivering phenomenal value for your home gym. Pay that man his money. What's going on, No Fate Nation? This is Mark with Flexmark Spot. So my favorite budget piece of gym equipment is resistance bands. That's because you can use them at all fitness levels. You can use them to get stronger, faster. You can use them for mobility. You can use them for rehab. And best of all, they're super cheap. Most home gym owners have a really weird barbell fetish. But for you non-weirdos, hey, you just want a barbell that's gonna be able to handle your 315 deadlift, your 250 squat, and maybe your 225 bench. And in that case, you're gonna wanna go with the Walmart Special. That's right, True Grit Fitness probably sells all their equipment the cheapest between Walmart and Best Buy. And every once in a while, they will throw this barbell up there for $100. And it cannot be beat. It delivers, it works, it looks fantastic, it holds up, it's got a nice coating. What more could you want in a barbell for your home gym? Hey everyone, Eric here from Eccles Basement Gym here to talk to you about my favorite piece of budget home gym equipment. The Saxon Grips. Made of a thick, heavy duty rubber and constructed completely in the United States for 65 bucks. These are a great way to change up your normal training or work on that grip strength. It's time. It is time for my final thoughts on when and where you should go budget when it comes to home gym equipment. And for most of you, budget home gym equipment's gonna serve you absolutely perfect. You don't need much equipment. You don't need high expensive equipment to get a great physique, to feel good, to look good, and to be ultra strong. But the second, and I do mean the second you decide to drink that home gym Kool-Aid, sell your soul so you can be the biggest guy in the gym, you need to just pony up the money. Pay once, cry once, get it done, and be happy with what you have rather than having a serious case of FOMO and realizing that a few years from now, you're gonna be selling what you got at almost zero dollars on Facebook Marketplace only to pick up what you wanted the first time around. If you wanna see another fantastic video on how to get the biggest bang for your home gym buck, then check this video out. And if you made it this far, you and I are like Aaron Rodgers and Achilles tendons. We're best friends, shake and bake. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. And as usual, don't save anything for the trip back. Job's done.